It is very commonplace for us to have an, a presentation file linked in a drawing, having a bill of material, as you see here, referencing all of our parts, as well as then the assembly file. So in this assembly file, if we look at the parts that are in it, you'll notice all the file names. Well, maybe we want to make a copy of all this information. So today's video, we want to show you a quick uh, demonstration on how to use what we call the Design Assistant. Design Assistant is a tool that will access through a, a right click in a Windows Explorer type interface. Uh, from there in the Design Assistant window we can find all sorts of things about a file and in this case you see all of the subcomponents of that assembly. Well when we're going to try to copy an assembly and maybe some parts we also want to make sure that we get any parent files of anything and everything that's part of that assembly. Especially the information that we're trying to copy. So we need to do that separate search in the lower half of the window and you'll see that we found all sorts of drawings and a presentation. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we select the files that we need to copy for our new uh, assembly configuration. So maybe it's the assembly, the drawings, presentation files, uh, maybe there's a couple individual piece part components and we're going to set those to copy. Next, what we can do is we have different columns for what subfolder we want to place them in, but we also need to change the names of all these files. Once we have all of the file names uh, modified, we hit the Save button, and then the Design Assistant will do all of our updating for us. Close Design Assistant down. When we look back in our Expl Explorer window, you will notice that we've got all of our separate files now. Uh, in that case, I just uh, put a prefix in it. We open up the drawing file, you'll notice that the bill of material shows the new part names for those subcomponents. The drawing views are referencing the new IPN file as well as the new assembly file. And to just verify, let's take a look at the assembly and you see all the contents there have changed as well. That is how you use Design Assistant to copy files.